think he'll bomb. Issue three, long live the king. Some say he's still alive, but for most of us, it's been 30 years this week since the king has left the building. Elvis Presley, or the king, as he was nicknamed, taught the world how to rock. In 1970, seven years before Presley died, he sent a six-page handwritten letter to Richard Nixon, then president. Elvis said that he quote-unquote admired Nixon and that he wanted to help the nation. He asked President Nixon to name him quote, federal agent at large. The drug culture, the hippie element, the SDS, Black Panthers, etc. do not consider me as their enemy. I can and will do more good if I were made a federal agent at large, and I will help out by doing it my way through my communications with people of all ages. Presley said that he knew how to reach this world because of this entertainer status, and because he was not part of what he described as the establishment. Mr. Nixon, a hobby musician himself, he played the piano, invited Elvis to the White House, and Elvis met with the president in December 1970. A memo from the meeting reported on the visit. It was written by a key staffer, Bud Krogh, author of the soon-to-be-published book, Integrity, Good People, Bad Choices, and Life Lessons from the White House. Presley kept repeating that he wanted to be helpful, that he wanted to restore some respect for the flag which was being lost. He mentioned that he was just a poor boy from Tennessee who had gotten a lot from his country, which in some way he wanted to repay. He said that he could not get to the kids if he made a speech on stage, that he had to reach them in his own way. So he asked Nixon to be a federal agent at large. This week, some tens of thousands attended a candlelight vigil in Memphis saluting Elvis. Question, what explains Elvis's enduring appeal? Tony Blankley. I don't know that I have any expertise on this. He obviously was a seminal force in, in rock and roll music. He had a, a powerful personality that, that attracted people across ages and, and ethnic groups. Um, and, and, he was, but he's I, my that, generation, I John. He's, he's my was, generation. He was, he was celebrity, celebrityhood was generated by talent in his uh, day yeah. and not by yeah, tabloids, as is my the point. case today. That's my point. John, is look, he is in my generation. I was growing up, I think, a sophomore in, in high school. In 1954, the king was the greatest of them all. He well, made he, rock and roll nationally. He put it on stage. He was a phenomenon. Did, right. that did you ever never talk seen to him about the, right. You were in the White House when he had Yeah, I know. They, they, he, Elvis and his gang showed up. They had to disarm him of all their guns, John. <laughs> well, what did he give Nixon? Uh, he gave him a present. Did he give him a badge or something? He gave him a coat. Gave him, he don't, oh, he's, maybe he sent it to him. He didn't bring it in the I think, I, think, I think he did. I don't think they let him in with well, it. Well, look, look. I know he was talking hey, to he all was the a natural, He was a natural <laughs> musical talent, but he was a white boy singing black music. And this was radical in the 50s when mm. a lot of America was still segregated. And he brought gospel music and soul music to a broader audience. And the little shaking around, uh, the adding a little sex in the, in the, in the right. button-down 50s was, was also oh, pretty sick. Ed Sullivan, excuse me, Ed Sullivan. Elvis. Elvis, and Sullivan only showed Elvis him from the waist up. The, Elvis orchestrated the emotions of two or three generations. Yeah. Millions of people all, all around the world okay. sort of went into despair with, Are You Lonesome Tonight? Right. They fell in love to Love Me Tender. Was, I mean, there was not the backseat of there any was nothing American. Like you think that, nothing like it. Do Elvis. you think <laughs> that hel Elvis helped uh, to uh, ease uh, Europe out of the Eastern Europe, out of the grip of the Soviets? Absolutely. I mean, the most yeah. attractive thing about America right. in the the Cold War was, was the kind of was the know, kind of soft power. John, of rock and roll and energy. Politicians don't give the image of America abroad. No, it's historical the figures don't. It's, it's to the, the masses. It's John, the popular it's figure. A popular he culture of America, which is the John, six countries He also proudly weapon. served in the U.S. military, yeah. and that was an important right. John, signal to sell. John, no, 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 he was in Germany. 57, 58. But John, you are right. Rock and roll is seditious. It's mm -hmm. seditious in the U.S. You mean it undercuts <laughs> it? It yeah. undercuts the authority. Yeah. That's what, one thing about rock and roll, and you're right. Rock and roll all over Europe had an impact on those regimes. Mm -hmm. You want to comment on uh, Elvis's jealousy of the Beatles? 
oh, well, I think that... I th he I told Nixon they were anti-American. He was... How did well, he? There because was he was... Look, Elvis was, a, Elvis was a good religious Southern American boy. Mm -hmm. And when John Lennon said that the Beatles were bigger than Jesus, he was outraged <laughs> by that. <laughs> and, I mean, Ellen is absolutely right. The <laughs> fact that he went with no question to do his military duty, to do the draft in right. Germany, he was an all-American... And he loved his mother. He right. loved his mother. And he <laughs> took <laughs> drugs like oh. most all-American boys. Hold on. There's a question. Should Congress set aside land on the Washington Mall for memorial to the greats of the rock and roll era, including the king, yes or no? I think that ought to be the Elvis Washington Monument. That's the way to deal with it. The other you can forget. It would be unfair I, to Cleveland. I think that let, let, Cle to Cleveland. let Cleveland have its glory. They have the Rock and Roll <laughs> yeah. Wall of Fame. That's, sure. that's sufficient. That's enough? Yeah. No, nothing on the wall, thank you. <laughs> Why not a salute to the soft power? of Elvis the, and his peers. And to the popular culture of America that goes back all the way through Gershwin and all the rest of you the, think a, the you jazz You think there ought to be, I'm, this is a serious yeah. question, a Absolutely. museum it, it, on the mall. A museum of culture? No, 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 on the mall. But bring them all in. Bring, bring, in bring in Gershwin, bring in Duke Ellington. Yes, bring in Louis Why do we always have to have military figures or politicians? We'll be right back with predictions. There's plenty of room. The Smithsonian.